Hi, my name is Seti and in today's video we're going to be looking at Canva Magic Write. This is Canva's AI answer to generative AI. Now here you can see I'm on the Canva website and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Canva Docs. This is their answer to create beautiful visually appealing documents. Now here within Docs I can choose to use any of these templates or I can simply create a brand new one. Here at the top I can always go to Doc. Let's go ahead and create a new document. This is a blank document and what I can do is I can just start typing. So I'm going to say all about snakes. That will be my title. And now I'm going to click on that plus icon. This is where I add a bit of magic to the document. So here I can add a design, a heading, subheading. I'm going to go to magic right. And I'm going to say, let's go ahead and try this out. I'm going to say, give me a year one reader age description of snakes. Enter. So now it has given me that description. So I can just remove this section. Snakes are long slithery animals with no legs. They come in excellent. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to add in a subheading. Let's go ahead and add in a subheading. This subheading will be snake facts. Okay, and now let's use our magic again. We're going to go to plus, add a bit of magic. We're going to say, um, give me a bullet point list with 10 snake facts. I'm going to say reading age of seven. Okay, let's go ahead and let's wait for that to happen. Excellent, we can now remove this question. Snakes are reptiles, they have scales all over their body. Snakes don't have legs. Excellent, so we have all of this Okay, there we go. So now let's go ahead and go to the left elements. Let's add in some images. So we're going to get snakes. Excellent. We've got some graphics here, beautiful graphics. We've got some videos as well. Let's go ahead and find some photos that we can use. We've got some nice ones here. Let's go ahead and add in this image right there. Okay, let's add in a neat little header as well. Let's go to graphics, maybe add in this one. There we go. Let's make it a bit smaller. There we go. All about snakes. Snakes are long slithery animals with no legs. There we go. We're going to just add in a little space and then some snake facts and a beautiful image. Excellent. I've got this text now. Now let's take it further. We're going to take our text and turn this into a slideshow so we can share this text with our students. Now at the top you can see there is a convert button. This will let us convert this into a presentation. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to click on that button. It's going to take all this text and it's going to convert it into a Canva presentation. So now we have a couple of templated styles here that we can use. You can see we have different styles. We have this green style, a black style, this brown one, all about snakes. Quite like the previews that you get here, snakes are reptiles. And then it gives me all those facts in individual slides. We can also just go with the white and see what that looks like. Okay, again, same thing. I think I'm going to go for easy to read. I think I'm going to go with a white one. Quite like that. Easy to read. And then we have our facts. Let's go ahead and click on create my presentation. And there we go. In no time, our presentation is created. We can double check everything here at the bottom. We have our different slides. Snakes are reptiles. They have scales all over their body. Double check it make sure that all the spellings are correct and that everything says what you want it to say. And then when we're ready, we can easily click on present or we can share this with people's groups and even download this as a PDF or even as an MP4 video. Again, incredibly useful feature to have. So AI within Canva can really impact how much time you spend on everything and how much time you save when creating those lesson materials. Now, I hope you found this helpful. If you did, make sure to like this video and share it out with a fellow teacher. Also, let me know in that comment section below, have you used Canva Magic Right? Will you use it in the future? Or is this something that you now want to go and explore? Well, go ahead and check out Canva Magic Right. In the meantime, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.